It's been it's been challenging. It's been tough, but it's been definitely worth the pain. I always say the the mountains kind of tease us a little bit cuz you know, you're going up these really difficult climbs and then you get to the top and then it's beautiful and you're looking out at the scenery and it's like, "Oh, well, damn, now I have to keep going." <laughs> you know, cuz you just have to go to the next view and it it puts that little power back in you. It's like, "Okay, yeah, this is worth it." This is worth it. On day two, we had torrential downpours, and I remember pitching my tent in the rain and then sitting in my tent for like an hour staring against the tent wall. If I've just been by myself at that moment, I would have totally just probably quit. But like going out of my tent and meeting all these other people that basically shared the same experience with me, that were like, yeah, dude, it was a fucking hard day. Um, that was amazing, like lifting each other up and if it wasn't for the other people out there, it's really what makes it special. I'd say like my favorite thing about the AT has been the culture and the way in which people give everything they have and only take what they need, no more. Um, and it feels like very reminiscent of a world that I don't think we live in anymore outside of the trail. Everybody shows up as who they are. Um, and actually that might not even be a fair statement. I think my favorite thing is that everybody shows up as who they want to be. My trail name's Boomerang. Teddy Bear. Amtrak. Fire. Water. El Salvador. Uh, I've just been going by John. Lighter. They call me Streak. Matrix. My trail name is Food Truck. Puddle Jumper. Bossa. Walmart. Kung Fu Panda. Panda for short. Half Show. Dr. Squatch. Super Secret Special Agent Parliamentary Presidential Penguin. Um, and so... <laughs> Maybe it's what they believe is the best version of themselves, which is awesome, right? And not necessarily what the world would say should be the best version of themselves. You get a sense of realism from people being out here, whereas being in regular life, in towns, back at home, people tend to be more fake. And out on trail, Everybody seems to just be relaxed and they're able to be themselves. I underestimated how much the people around you matter when I started. Um, the part that I was most comfortable with is the walking part. Like, we walk every day. Um, I did that in my daily life. That part is easy. Um, but I didn't realize how much the people around you really pull you along. And on the bad days, they're, they're who you need. <laughs> Hikers, hike! Goodness, it's so far from what I anticipated. Everybody's been so kind and so genuine and giving. It's, it's so unusual. Uh, coming from just regular day-to-day -day life out here on the trail, it's, it's an experience for sure. Because I think in a way the trail community is kind of like a, a model for how our society should be, how community should be everywhere, really, and yeah, just show, show a different way of life, I think. This community really is amazing. It has a certain magic that over seven years and thousands of miles of long distance hiking, I haven't really been able to find it anywhere else. It's what I fell in love with on my first hike of the AT. It's what changed me as a person and restored my faith in humanity. Although sometimes I fear that this community might outlast the trail and the land that helps to make it so special. Yeah, the community is great, but it could be so much greater. I mean, I know there's all of the organizations like the ATC, volunteer programs and things like that that are looking to protect these trails, but um, I was at the, uh, one of the seminars yesterday with Nomad and um, they mentioned that some people love the trail to death and I think if you are going to love the trail, you have to recognize that it is your job to protect it as well. Because um, I mean, I can tell the trail is, like it's widening. I see areas where it's just the traffic has been so heavy and after this year. I think it needs to be a communal effort. How do we do it perfectly? I don't know the answer, but um, 
if we want to keep hiking wherever it is, we do need to love this land by making sure that we can keep it the way it is for as many people. So. Well, I do experience this just like freedom and independence by being here on trail and this freedom to kind of forget about the real world for a little while. That, yeah, while well, it's technically free to be here, we should be giving back. It needs to be maintained by somebody and it should be maintained by those who are using it and benefiting off of it. Because if, if we don't, who does? It's just hard to find the words to talk about what it feels like to be out here in a way that feels genuine, um, in a way that doesn't feel like preaching. Like, we're out here, we see each other as a group, and we see this place as our home for the time being, and you want to respect your home. <laughs>